Good morning, you guys. It is, what day is it? Tuesday here in China, and I've had a good morning. I actually have to leave for Chinese class, Mandarin class, in like 40 minutes. No, less than that, a half an hour. But I've had a great morning so far. I woke up at like 6.15 and got a workout in, which is so fun to do something other than running because I had my half marathon last weekend and now I can work out however I want. I don't have to run, I can walk or lift weights, which is what I'm excited to do. So that was a great way to start my morning. And then I just did some other stuff around the house, like put away dishes and made some soy milk. And then I made my breakfast, which is this like layered chia pudding thing, which um, yeah, I'll show you how to make it. So last night I put three tablespoons of chia seeds in a jar and then added about a cup of non-dairy milk. I use my homemade soy milk. Um, and then you could sweeten it or add vanilla or any spices you want right then, but I just kind of left it plain. And then you mix it and then you let it sit for like five minutes and you mix it again. And then you just stick it in your fridge overnight. And when you wake up, you have this thick chia pudding and you can add all these toppings. Um, for my toppings, I did banana. And then I made like with peanut powder and cacao powder, mixed it up with some water for like a chocolate sauce. Definitely add sweetener to that if you don't like dark, bitter chocolate. But I think the banana I added will sweeten it up fine. And yeah, so that'll be my breakfast. I need to eat it now, get dressed, and then head to class. So I'll take you guys with me throughout my day. to rush to class I might be a little late but good news is I remember that I brought my rain boots from America so I don't have to have wet feet so yeah these are old I don't even remember when I bought them but I am excited to have dry feet so I'm gonna go walk to class and then after class my teacher is gonna help me find a place to get my other boots like the whole bottom replaced because they're so old but I love them so much so we just need to get like new soles put on and fill in the hole that makes my socks all wet, all that good stuff. And then we're going to go to Hot Pot for lunch, which is exciting because she says it's an individual Hot Pot. So I can just like just do veggies and choose my broth and all my spice, like the spice level and stuff. And so I'm hoping I'll feel good after getting to choose what I put in my pot and I'll show you what it looks like when we're eating but for now I need to rush out the door and get to class.你喜欢地理吗？哦，我地理历史很好。哦，我很喜欢。我还没有决定我的专业的时候，我在想可能我要学地理。哦，很久没有学这个。这些你学过吗？这个呃，这个部分是叫什么？嗯，Asia是叫
蚝油，蚝油是你应该不吃。<笑>好，为什么呢？它是动物的一种营养。哦，谢谢。所以可以随便住吗？啊，可以随便放进去吗？对，或者你有一个方式最好的。先放，想怎么放就怎么放，想放什么就放什么。我真的，我很高兴你告诉我。我们俩都来，我们俩来。start talking check out this froth I don't even know oh I'll have to get another angle of it but such a good good frothy drink I got here anyways I just got back from being out all morning like a half an hour ago and my camera was practically dead so I needed to charge it and so just grinded some coffee some of my decaf coffee and made this peppermint mocha which is a fun little treat but let's taste it. Oh, it's so good. It's so wet and rainy today. Like when I left the house this morning, it wasn't that bad. Um, what I was wearing was fine. I had normal pants on, but I changed as soon as I got home because it turned so cold. And wearing those rain boots was like the best decision ever because my feet stayed dry, which was awesome. But this morning went so well. Um, one thing I love is when me and my teacher can switch like our scenery for where we have class either at my house or her house or outside or go run an errand together. It just makes time go faster and is fun and I still learn so many new um, vocab words and other stuff. So we ended up studying at her house which is fun because I've never been there. And we left a little early from class to go drop off my boots which I have had these boots for like three four years maybe and I bought them for like 30 bucks I don't even know they're not that great but I don't know why I just like am picky about the style and I just love the style of these but the bottoms were just horrible like I would slip and they had holes in them so my feet would get wet if it rained so she showed me this guy that like can you see it it's like a new sole and he glued back up the hole and yay they look horrible when they're not on but when they're on they still look alright but I'm hoping I can get use out of them for a one more winter so that was a success and then you guys lunch was amazing I am so sad I didn't know about this place earlier so um, in a few vlogs earlier, Brett and I tried to go get hot pot for a date night and it just failed. But my friend took me to a place where um, everyone gets their own pot and so you can order your own broth. You can choose what broth you want, whether it's like bean broth or bone broth or whatever. And then it's only 15 kwai, which is like 250, not even. And you can just keep going back and picking out all the vegetables you want. So, pumpkin, I got tofu, I got this like, there's some, I don't know what you call them. It's like liangfen, maybe. It's like potato starch. I don't know, hopefully I got um, it on video. But, um, lotus root, I can't even remember everything I got. Um, potato... Then I had like all these different kinds of greens and sprouts and we just like had this huge feast of all these veggies and another awesome thing about it is that um, you basically like cook the veggies in front of you in your broth 
and everyone cooks their own veggies and then once you pull them, once they're cooked, you take them out and you dip them in the small bowl which you can fill with spice, cilantro, green onion, salt, MSG, whatever you want. So it was so cool that I got to choose and so I just added some cilantro and green onion, some chili, um, then I did some vinegar and soy sauce I think. And so it was so great, it was like an oil, yeah I didn't have to eat a lot of oil, I felt so good after, just like warm, it warmed me up so much. So many veggies in my system and tofu and all that stuff, so it was a successful lunch. And then I went, after lunch, I went and picked up my shoes, which were done, and that cost me like five or six bucks to get them repaired. So that's exciting. Hopefully they'll last me another winter or two. And then I walked home, and it just was really rainy, so I'm happy to be home for the day. Um, I would love to go on a walk, but it's looking like I'll just get to lay low and enjoy being inside. So now it is time to sip on this mocha and import all my new words for the day into my app called Anki which helps me with learning Chinese and then I also need to go through all my flashcards and so yeah I probably won't do anything too exciting for the rest of the afternoon except for study Chinese so just thought I'd catch you up on my morning and how it went and yeah I'll let you know if I do anything exciting before dinner but I'm pretty sure I'll be sitting on the couch or at my desk just getting some work done um, yeah, so I'll show you what we end up eating for dinner or if I end up doing anything exciting, but yeah, just thought I'd catch you up. Let me show you this mocha. It looks amazing. I gotta show you the foam. Like, look at that foam, you guys. It's so thick. It's hard to see, but if you've never made a latte in a blender, you need to try it. It's so frothy, so yum. Alright, you guys, I'm gonna go do some work. Talk to you soon. So I forgot I brought up these packages that came from Taobao, so we should open them, see what they are. Pretty sure this one is sea salt. Do you remember what else we ordered? Christmas. So I was right on this one, some sea salt, which is great because I just ran out. And in here, oh, Sriracha, I forgot I ordered you. Yes, I was running low, so this is perfect timing. So Brett and I are craving separate things for dinner. I am craving more veggies in the form of a salad because I'm currently obsessed with tamari like marinated baked tofu. It's just so good. So I'm going to have a salad with some greens and then I'm going to just drizzle some tamari on this tofu, chop it up and bake it. And these are already like already steamed and baked. Pumpkin and broccoli. This has some sweet potato, carrot and mushroom. So I'm just going to re-put it put it all on a baking tray and just reheat it in the oven while this bakes and then put it on my salad. And for dressing, I will probably have my favorite limitini dressing and then Brett wants pancakes, so while all this is baking, I'll make his pancakes and we'll eat that together. So we are really chill about when we eat and whether we eat together and whether we eat the same thing, which is just how I like it. But I'll show you the finished product in a second when I'm all done. They mean like, saying, saying you don't seem right. They seem to be for the meantime. Must be my eyesight, man. I feel like I'm going blind. Mountain to the top, though. Don't stop. Long way to drive. Film that for me. Fame. Because maybe you need to film that. <laughs> that is going in the video. <laughs> Will you be so embarrassed? All of YouTube. It's something that everyone does right there. No, not Chinese people. Something that you do all the time. Is that going in there? They already know. 
They have to know with all the veggies I eat. <laughs> How do they know? All the veggies and beans. Mm. We're just getting real with y'all people. Some people fart. And my mom would be crying right now if she's watching this video. <laughs> Anyways, um, for my hey, salad dressing. Hey, you have a boyfriend if you fart like that. Yes, I did tell my teacher when I was growing up. Me and my siblings were not the most politest children, unfortunately. And we would like fart at the table. My mom would be like, Faith, you will never marry the prince if you keep farting like that. Anyways. Turns out I didn't marry a prince, but I married a, another farter. <laughs> Anyways, mom, you're so proud. <laughs> For my salad dressing, I'm gonna have my favorite lemon tahini dressing. In other news. Yes, in other news. My favorite tahini dressing, which I've just started having on hand all the time in the fridge because it's so good and we put it on everything. So I'm just gonna wait for my veggies to be done and then I'll sit down and eat some dinner with Bore, which is his Chinese name, Brett. And yeah, that'll be, I'll show you it when it's done. So here is my massive salad and I actually haven't had this massive of a salad in a long time. So we'll see how much I get through. I'm basically excited about this tofu on top. So I'm gonna use this lemon tahini dressing, put it on top, maybe add some nooch, nutritional yeast, and that's dinner. editing some videos and working on my blog and random stuff like that just relaxing after dinner had a little dance party and yeah I felt I ended up eating that entire bowl of veggies but it sat so well and tasted so good and now I'm probably just gonna relax a little more and then read my book before I fall to sleep so that's my day I hope you enjoyed watching me go to class and um, eat that hot pot which was delicious so leave your comments down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Good night!